Ooh, it's time to talk about scene modifiers. In the Extend Omniverse contest, we have three categories. Custom UIs, scene authoring tools, and scene modifier tools. So this video is about scene modifier tools. This is where you can provide an extra layer of information and productivity enhancements for folks that are using uh, your tools and using Omniverse. We have a few different examples to get you going. So let's get started. Uh, from Launcher, go into Code. That'll get you started with where you're gonna build all of these tools for the Extend Omniverse contest. And let me walk you through several different examples that we have to really get you going. You go out to GitHub and grab these examples. Let me show you how to open it up. So you go to Window and scroll down to Extensions. That will bring up the Extension Manager and then you see this little cog or gear here, open that up and you can add <clears throat> the GitHub repos for all of the scene modifier examples. Or you can download the examples and uh, then just have a reference to your local hard drive, which is what I've done. Okay, so go grab those and then let's, let's take a tour through a few of them. So the first one that I wanna take a look at is the Sample viewport reticle. So let's turn this on. Now, I'm in my viewport, checking out my scene, and there's a new button. There's a new button down here in the lower right-hand corner. So that's a thing that you can do. You can build buttons and menu entries and new windows and tabs that you can add. So in this particular extension, we've added this reticle. You can open it up. And now let me get let me get you something interesting in the scene to show you though. Come on, right? So let's look at like which one? I don't know. Let's look at the astronaut. Uh, let's just start fresh. All right. So we got our astronaut hanging out on the actual moon. That is the real moon. All right. Uh, we've got our astronaut. Let's let's do the reticle now. Let's say I want to frame this up a little bit. And I want to frame my shot, so I can do it in thirds. And then I can move around and figure out, okay, I want to, I want them to kind of be centered here. And I can use these lines as guides to keep things in place. I could do quads so I can see this like target where I want to hit them. Oh, and then there's the more specific crosshairs. So I could keep a certain element, like maybe as antenna in a certain spot in the shot. So this allows you to have different ways of framing up your screen. And, and notice it's adding this overlay onto the view. There's a few other things that this extension will allow you to do. You can have these regions where I don't want my action to go outside of the red bar and I can move it up and down and around and I can I can change what, what I want for my particular um, visual effects. I can have the title safe. I wanna make sure my title always lands with inside this, this sort of yellow region or I can have custom bars. Maybe I wanna have like an affordance for the bezels on TVs to you know get a different sort of aspect ratio and make sure nothing important is clipped in those areas. Uh, you can also turn off some of these. You can also do like letterboxing, so you can you can make sure that you've got the actual uh, aspect ratio that you're interested in, and you can change this aspect ratio however you want. So the point though is not really about this particular extension. It's about the notion that you can build this and you have access to the code to see how this all works. So let's let's show you that code real quick. How do you do that? So I opened up extensions, remember? So I have the extension manager here. And again, you get that from the Windows menu at the very bottom. Click on the sample that you're interested in looking at, and then you can read about it more right there, but you can also click on this little Visual Studio button and open it up in Visual Studio. So there is the code. I can look at extension.py to check out how this was set up and running. I can look at the various models and I can see um, the different aspects that I have available in this, in this uh, extension and then views. So you can just sort of troll through it, uh, check out the styles, however you want. You just look through the code and get a feel for how this works and take the pieces you like. Maybe, maybe challenge yourself to add something to it and see if you can extend the extension a little bit. So that's one. Uh, gives you a pretty good feel of, of the power of these scene modifiers where they're not really changing what 
elements are in the scene, but they're modifying the scene in a way that makes it more uh, useful and makes it a little more productive for yourself. Let's look at a couple other examples here. I want to, I want to look for one. Um, this light modifier. I think this will be a good one. So let's turn this on. Go back to the viewport. In fact, I'm going to just start a new scene here. Just get us all fresh. And what do we want to do here? We want to let's create a mesh. It's a plane. You can toggle to R for resize to resize this. And then I probably want to drop a cube in here real quick. Toggle again to W so I can move this around. You see a drop shadow showing up on that. All oh, cool. I'm going to turn off the fancy reticle here for a minute. And I'm going to get rid of the default light. And then I'm going to just hit delete on that. Awesome. And I'm going to add my own light. Create a light that's like a rectangular light. Here we go. And the thing that this extension has done is it's added this yellow manipulator around the extension. So I've got my rectangular light and it's doing its job here. Now, if I want, I can grab the edges and I can make it wider. See, because I'm grabbing that manipulator. I can grab the corner and I can make it bigger in whatever dimension I want. And it's doing something pretty interesting where it's keeping the intensity the same, even if my size changes. So, right, it's become more of a spot that way. All right, and then I can also change my intensity by dragging just this piece, raise it up and down. So that's an example of a manipulator. Um, the light manipulator sample will show you exactly how to build that. And it's got all the elements of, um, you know, being able to click on these different pieces and, and adjust them and, and shows you how that affects the, the camera itself. Or I'm sorry, the light source itself. All right, so that's the light manipulator. Let's look at another one. Um, I wanna do, back to extensions. I wanna do the, um, I wanna do the object info. So object info, here is another very simplistic one where when I select on an object, see it added this little yellow call out with a, some metadata. It's got the path, it's got the materials. So you can do whatever you might wanna have on, on some metadata. So an example that'd be kind of fun and interesting is you've got a, a machine with a lot of different parts on it and you want to click around and see what's up with those parts. Maybe what's their temperature or what is the part number for it? So you could go buy it. Um, whatever you might want to have for the metadata, you can click on parts and then click around the scene and see what's going on with them. Right? Cool. Let's take a look at another one. We'll turn off the object and then we're going to go over to slider. It's another, another sample that you have. Let's turn that on. And now when I click, I have this slider and you see I can, if I grab the little thumb on the slider, I can move it up and down and I can scale it between two, uh, two values that you would, you would decide in your code what you wanna set those limits to. So that's an example where you're adding manipulator again that allows you to directly on the object, make changes like that. And remember, you can always hit Visual Studio here and dive in and see the code for this, right? So here's the light manipulator, but here is the um, the slider. Go to Omni. I look at the, ex see, I can see the base, like how it's all set up. I can see the base manipulator and how that's laid out. Um, yeah, you can always always look at the code and, and see how you're gonna use it. So the next one that I wanna show you is widget. So let's go do that. 
go in here. Ooh, widget. There's a lot of widgets. Let's do widget UI. There we go. So if I turn that on, then what we can do is we can go check out, um, where do we go? Back to the viewport. And I can click on this. And now I see a full on UI with text, metadata, and the slider all together in one. So this is scene modifiers, and these are a range of samples here to help you get rolling on scene modifiers. For the Extend Omniverse contest, take a look at all the categories, scene modifiers, um, the custom UI, and the scene authoring tools. We have samples for each of those. With scene modifiers, uh, I think there's a lot of really interesting ways to show different pieces of metadata or to give people more control over how they create and customize their scenes and give them a real powerful and simplifying um, set of enhancements. I can't wait to see what you build. I'll be out there with you building this stuff. Let's, uh, let's get on it and let me know what you're building. Can't wait.